Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Lucrezia and I've been teaching Italian online for almost two years now. Today's video is going to be different from my usual because I post Italian video lessons here on YouTube, but today I would like to give some tips on how to start teaching a language online. I sometimes get questions from my viewers here on YouTube, but also on my Instagram account on what to do or where to start looking for info and tips. So I thought this video might be helpful for those who want to start this online teaching venture. I'm also going to post this video outside my regular schedule. So this video is not in place of a regular Italian lesson. If someone was worried about it, <laughs> I have organized the information I want to share with you in this video around three main topics, which I feel are the ones I would want to know more about if I were to start teaching online today and didn't know anything about it. Qualifications, teaching platforms and apps, and how to get students to contact you. Do you need qualifications to teach a language online? The straight answer is no, you don't have to have qualifications to teach online, but you might want to look into getting one if you don't have any teaching degree or certificate. It really depends on what you want to do and how you want to present yourself online. If you want this to be your full-time job, then you definitely must have a qualification to do so. If you're thinking about it as a side job or something to do on and off, then you're good to go without one but then you would have fewer options to work and you could only market yourself as a conversation tutor on teaching platforms, for example. Having qualifications is also a great thing from a student's perspective because students want to work with a person they think is a reliable source of information. I decided to get a teaching certificate for Italian as a second language because I wanted to know and learn how to teach Italian to foreigners. Sometimes being a native speaker is not enough to teach your own language. You have to be able to understand your students' needs, you have to know different teaching techniques or teaching methods and approaches, and you have to study or restudy grammar in order to be able to explain it to your students you have to keep studying. That's what I've learned. Teachers are students as well. So I would highly recommend getting a teaching certificate to teach online if you don't have one, because it could also come in handy if you want to go abroad to teach your language or if you want to teach at a local language school. Where can you actually teach? There are plenty of teaching platforms and apps you can choose from and you can apply to. For example, italki, Verbling, Preply, Lingoda, Verbal Planet, VipKid, Tandem, and I will leave all the links to these platforms in the description down below. If you're interested, you can go check that out. Most of them require for you to have qualifications if you want to apply for a professional teacher profile. But if you don't have... <laughs> If you don't have any qualifications, you can apply as a community tutor or a conversation tutor, as I said before. Platforms need time to review all applications, so you won't get a response right away. I've actually waited two weeks to get a response from the platform I applied to. Before sending your application, make sure that the language you want to teach is still accepted or there is availability for that language. Otherwise, your application might be rejected because they have too many teachers for that language on the platform. Another option is having your own website where you manage everything your teaching calendar and payments from students. You could, for example, use Google Calendar to send out invites to students to schedule lessons and you could use PayPal to collect their payments and maybe Skype or Google Hangouts for the actual lessons. I chose to be on a platform because it's easier to manage everything. They give me all the tools I need to just think about my work. But of course, they take a percentage of what I earn 
from the lessons. So that is something to consider. While if you do everything yourself, you get 100% of what you make. So no percentages to give to platforms or apps. Where do you find students and how do you get them to contact you? If you work on a teaching platform, students will find you within the platform. Sometimes platform will promote your teacher profile to potential students. If you have a website and work through your website, you have to create a strong online presence for yourself. I mentioned the website, but it could also be a blog, a YouTube channel, an Instagram account, a Facebook page, you name it. You want to promote yourself and your teaching skills through free and valuable content. And students will contact you if they find you interesting and if they trust you. It takes time to build trust in your audience and it takes time to build an audience in the first place. So you have to have patience. You have to be patient. Also, you have to see what works best for you. These tips are based on my personal experience on what worked best for me. The key point is that you have to start doing in order to see what works and what not. Or even if this is something you really want to invest your time and work into. Because you might like the idea, but then when you start actually working as an online teacher and you hate it. So you have to start in order to see if you like it, if you want it to be your full-time job or part-time job or definitely stay away from it. <laughs> so see for yourself. And let me know in the comments if you decide to start teaching online and what language you would want to teach online. I hope this video was useful. If you have questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Ciao!